Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my tutorials. In my last video, I showed you guys how you can install a domain controller on Silver 2008 and in the process, a DNS server. Now, in this tutorial, I am going to show you guys how you can actually join a client to the domain, create a user account, and finally, setting up roaming profiles and home folders for these users. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to want to do is to isolate my three virtual machines away from my host. So what I'm going to do is right click here, network adapters, and we are going to set it to internal network, uh, click on OK, and you do the same for these other two clients, adapters, um, internal, OK, as you can see here I have a Windows Vista and a Windows 7 client that I'm going to join to the ARM domain. So on that work, press OK. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is to actually set up static IP addresses for my two clients here, Windows 7 and Windows Vista, to be able to communicate with Windows 2008. So what you do is right click here, open Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings, uh, properties, uh, we will disable TCP v6 because um, we won't be using that, properties and 192.168.1.3 and 255.255 and the default gateway will be the IP address of the server and you can check the IP address of the server by that right click in here, going to network sharing center, manage network connections, right click properties, click on IPv4 and click on properties and as you can see here the server 2008 IP is 192.168.1.1 so you're going to just put it here. Uh, we do the same for the DNS server. And we click OK, close. And we are going to say do the same, but uh, we just click as home network. Uh, close. And we are going to do the same thing for um, our Vista clients here. Uh, manage network connections, right click, properties, continue, disable TCP v6. And 1681. One. I'm gonna give this this client the IP of 12. Since I already use 13 for the Windows 7. 1611. And again, you need to set the default gateway as the ARM server IP. As well as the DNS server. Okay, closed. Okay, right. So we just want to ensure that um, all these virtual machines are communicating with each other. So. What we are going to do is start and we want to open a command prompt and use ping. ping. First I want to ensure that this machine is able to communicate with Windows 7. So 192.168, we type any address of our Windows 7 which is 192.168.1.3. Okay, it's working. I'm going to go to Windows 7 side and try it. And now we are, I'm going to try to ping um, the Vista machine which is 192.168.1.2. Okay, request time. I think um, the firewall is enabled, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the firewall. So, classic view, uh, firewall. I'm just going to turn the firewall off. Okay. Okay, let me try this again. Alright, it's working. Okay, um, let's try ping in the server, which is 192.168.1.1. Okay, it's working here. We're gonna try it here. Ping this around. Okay, it is established connection now. Okay, so everything is in order. Just close up everything here. So now to actually join this client to the domain, click on start. Right click computer, go on properties, change settings, change, and our domain is testlab.com. As well, that was the name of my domain, right? That I did in the last video. If your domain is like um, bob.com, well, you can put bob.com. If it's um, I like pi.net, so well, you put I like pi.net. And you click on OK. And of course, you will need um, a account which has um, privileges to join the user to the domain. OK. 
Okay, now I'm coming to say I need to restart us. I just press OK, close, restart now. While that is restarting, I'm going to show you guys how to do it on Vista. It is more or less the same. Right click on computer, properties, change settings. Again, click on change, test lab.com. Okay, and manage data. Okay, so again, we're going to have to restart the computer. Okay, so let me just show you guys something. While it is rebooting, we go to Server Manager, Roles, DNS Server, Power Lookup Zones. And as you can see, after we join Windows 7 to the domain and we reboot the computer, um, it shows up. The DNS entry shows up for Windows 7 PC. Similarly, if we go to reboot lookup, there we go again, 1.3 and uh, Windows 7 PC. And Vista has just reloaded, so we should be seeing Vista up to. And we just go on to slab and we keep on refreshing. Oh, okay, and there is this Windows Vista PC. And again, you reverse look up, refresh. All right, I refresh the thing by pressing F5. So as you can see, 1.2, and um, with Vista PC Lab. Okay, so we want to make sure everything is detected, etc., etc. So what we're going to do is view computers and devices. And well, as you can see, there's our um, network discovery has been turned off in Silver 2008, so we are going to enable it. Okay, nothing switched up because I'm, I'm, not actually, I'm not actually logged in right now, so. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do now is actually going to create a user account. So we go to Active Directory Domain Services. Double click on this item here, and that's lab.com. And we go to Users, and you can right click here, and basically new um, user. Well, you can put in anything you want. I'm just going to put Bob Frisky. Frisky, and we have the login name as um, Bob Frisky, I guess. Let's go work next. Password. Now, I won't bother to, um, setting the account to change its password on login because this is just a test environment. You probably will want to do this in, a, I don't know, in a, an enterprise environment, but I'm just going to take off this next and finish. Okay, so we have created a user called Bob Frisky, so we log in, switch user, other user, and we, what you do is you say test lab, now we leave out the .com, the .net, or whatever you set as it, we can just set it as test lab, backslash, and the name of the user, which was Bob Frisky, and then the password. And also we can use that same account to log in in another PC. And we go to switch user, other user, and again test lab without the .com, and we name, put the name of the user, first key, and password. And there we go. We are now logged into the domain, and we are using our account provided that was made in the domain. Okay, so um, this should start showing up all right it's still one show because um i need to en actually enable the discovery see as you can see here so i actually need to turn on network discovery and of course i need permission in order to do this because this is just a normal user account and it does not have any privileges so i need to log in as someone with privileges in the domain test lab